Okay, good evening again, mga fellow Reds, uh, Manchester United fans, and Filipino fans all over the, well, Facebook, YouTube, all over the world. Welcome to another edition of Pinoy Sheffield Enders. I'm uh, your host for tonight, Jeff. And tonight is a special episode because we are not talking about Manchester United tonight. We are talking about, of course, our Philippine national team, the Ascons, because they are going through a joint qualifier uh, next month. Uh, for the World Cup and also for the Asian Cup, and with me today are well more more or less more knowledgeable than me in terms of the current ASCAL situation. Um, I, to be honest, the last time I really watched the ASCALs, I was like I think in Panaad, <laughs> uh, when they first um, after the Suzuki Cup miracle, uh, the miracle at, uh, at Hanoi. Ah, the um, Mongolia game. Nagbenta kami ng ano noon. Nagbenta kami ni Mrs. ng mga scarf. Doon sa panahad. 100 pesos isa. Yun yung money racket. Tingin nga, tingin nga. Wala na. Wala na dito. Tagal na. Wala <laughs> Sobra tagal na. So yeah. Uh, but Hindi. I've known some Filipino players because of, you know, well, video games. Uh, but I don't really know of them in terms of the players. So that's why we have our panel for tonight. Uh, we have Julio. We have Kent. We have Carl. And of course, we have our resident angry man. We have Kevin. Yeah. So, uh, the the lineups were announced last week. Uh, and I just want to share that with you. Uh, let me... There we go. Yeah. So, from a tweet, tweet from Jing Hamlang. Um, looking at the lineup, so we have, of course, our most capped player in this current uh, lineup, Neil Etheridge of Birmingham City. Uh, vice captain. He's more. He's actually has more appearance appearances than I know than Stefan Schock. Stefan has like forty four appearances, and Neil has our most caps so far at 65, 65 caps for the Ascals. Uh And then, you know, I, I I won't go through the names first, but looking at at this lineup first, uh, ang nipis nung kumbaga, We have an industrious side. We have a lot of defenders and midfielders. But the thing is, <laughs> parang kulang tayo sa finishing. That's what I. That's how I feel, huh? uh, We, we are kind of uh, thin in terms of our finishing, our front, our threats uh, in front of goal. Um, should I be worried, Kent? Because again, I I'm not as updated uh, as mo- as you guys in terms of uh, the performance of Aska of the Askals. Uh, so get get us up to speed. How are the Astros doing now, and what do you think of, of of this lineup that's released for the joint qualifiers next month? First of all, good evening, some ano, to our fellow um, Stratford Enders. Um, looking at the lineup initially, um, I, first of all, yung current situation is Philippines are ranked uh, third in Group A of the. Uh, second round of the Asian qualifier. So, katabla natin yung China with seven points. So, this upcoming qualifying window will be the last one. So, we will be having three matches in 12 days. Um, so, the best this upcoming qualifying best window. scenario um, for us, uh, because ane, the second place is still up for grabs in the group. And as per the rules, the best four runners up will advance to the next round so we need to win all of our remaining matches against uh china maldives and guam now looking at the lineup um it's one of the most for- formidable that we've had in a while um especially in the de- in the defensive side of things um lagi nating problema in the past couple of years lagi tayong kulang sa mga defenders so we needed to convert midfielders into defenders to offset that um, disadvantage uh, ngayon nakakatuwa because we've already we already saw a ano, much increasing pool of defenders so we are able to call up um, Jefferson Tabinas, Mardiano and uh, Michael Kempter as well as Jesper Nyholm though Nyholm would be still doubtful due to his um, long term injury sana gumaling just in time for the qualifiers um, midfield is all right um ang concern lang talaga is forwards especially we need to st- score goals and ang goal difference natin is zero so we need to 
score many goals to have a superior goal difference to give us a chance to win games in that window. So we are left wanting uh, with Mart Hartman and Angel Grado. They are good, but I cannot. Uh, we can't assure na sila, uh, na they will provide the goals considering Mark is not that pacey, although he's very clinical. Well, while Angel is a bit like old, pero let's see what what. I can say is this line. This lineup is very tactically malleable, very flexible. Uh, depende sa kung anong tactics ni Coach Scott Cooper o nung plano niya, uh, batch by match. So we'll see. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, it is a formidable lineup. Okay. Um, as you said, no, parang we are left wanting in the in the front line, the forward line. No, parang feeling ko parang ano? Eh, parang may bakay United siya, kasi nga. We, of course, we have we have those defenders and midfielders who can, I guess, create somehow, no. But we don't have that. I don't know, number nine or that uh, fox in the box who are who can uh, who can make those runs and you know. Because Angel Girado is like a target man, right? Uh, he has to have that ball. Uh, and then Simon Hartman, as you said, nah, he's not as as pacey. Um, Julio. Uh, do you think scoring will be a concern, especially that Kent pointed out that our, our goal difference is zero, so I don't think we have a problem defensively. As you can see, I'm not defensive midfielders, but how about the score on the scoring side? As far as the current setup kasi is concerned, uh, upon checking the lineup, kasi, uh, forgive me, uh, but this is the uh, first time in, I believe, almost two years kasi since the last time I checked on the Ascals eh, after the Sea Games. So, a lot of the names kasi that I'm seeing kasi for me are Greenhorns eh, or pretty much first time kasi nalang with the lineup eh, or with the current national setup. Uh, I think the defense kasi will be definitely tested given uh, it will be too much of an ask kasi to give that much responsibility kasi kaila Alvaro Silva and Carly De Morga to begin with. Kaya naman right. din. Kaya naman yan. Kaya naman yan. Matang bata ko De Morga eh. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Para kung no na ano na someone like him na used to play as left back and right back magiging center back si grows older di ba pero i guess that's the part of yun nga uh, maturity din uh, as time goes by din eh, kasi someone really need to uh, step up kasi and uh, given given that uh, we're missing a uh, few players i believe sa the defense notably yung na mention ni Gary before si Amani Aguinaldo uh, there's no record yeah. pero uh, i hope he's not injured though so, sana available siya for selection. And he's still yet to hit the pick up his powers at the age of 25-26. But for now, uh, this lineup will do. Uh, I was able to do a bit of a run-around naman sa stats naman nila. Uh, there's a good mix of experience naman and the uh, youth naman din dyan. Uh, with uh, Jano and Nico De Vera uh, from the ADT. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, nandyan si the ever... Yun nga. I, I think that will be the uh, word for tonight, eh, flexible. Kasi you have more than Stoibler kasi uh, listed under defense. Eh. For the midfield, uh, sorry if I if I need to crawl on this. Uh. Sa midfield kasi, uh, as far as the, the statistics and your performance kasi you could tell, uh, it's not exactly a mixed bag. But yeah, uh, they can also be flexible depending on which setup uh, Coach Scott will pick. Whether if he wants to play three at the back, uh, which is possible because that's definitely something Alvaro Silva is very comfortable with. Uh, or if they want to play two at the back, uh, then you will see wingers uh, playing more often than they should, just uh, the likes of the first-timers to like Rafael Obermeer, uh, who I believe is good. Uh, and of course, the seasoned veteran uh, very, ano lang, very quiet lang yung kanyang more than 40-50 uh, plus appearances na with the national team, si Patrick Reichel. Yeah. So may help uh, them in leading the line then. Second uh, most cap, pro- 61, I think. 61, no? Dami, ang dami. Oh. Next to Neil, no? Kukalain. Next to Neil, yes. Oh. Next to Neil. Diba? Congrats, congrats to him. And uh, of course, we have uh, uh, the potential future Ascal star, though. And Jarvie Gay also. Now, of course. Uh, this is where it Dao, yeah. Uh, this is where it comes in. Kasi, uh, I've seen it before kasi sa mga comment section nun and the uh, so the last time I watched the Nascar game, kasi, there are concerns kasi as to why Jarvi Gayoso kasi was being played as a wing back. Back in the day, kasi, nung nasa Ateneo kasi siya, either he plays as a number 10 uh, or he plays as a, second, as a second striker. Sometimes as a winger din. Pero Left when winger, he... 
uh, wasn't the Bruce kasi in the uh, national team lineup kasi left sometimes left back ang unang salto niya, eh, di ba? That's what yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yes, oh, left back, left back, sometimes right back, sometimes left wing back. Uh, the reasons daw kasi was nakitaan daw kasi siya ng capacity kasi to let's say defend uh, in a much uh, more flexible setup like a 3-5-2 something like that. It kind of deprived his uh, let's say chance to grow into a more uh, in, into a more Clinical. mature yeah. let's say forward. Yes. Oh, pero yeah. it somehow enhanced his uh, defensive capabilities. I'm not entirely sure if the, the statistics can back that up given yung uh, recent performance ng Ascal sa sa C games pero uh, things will definitely look up naman uh, given naman yung yung exposure naman niya since tuloy-tuloy naman siya and he's been he has been relatively healthy naman eh there's no report naman na uh, he has been injured naman for a very long time naman eh and uh, he's on the right side of I believe he's already 24 25 so there's a chance there uh, of course he's less than as a midfielder but if coach Scott does see it in him na he can play up top together with either Aguilarado or with Mark Hartman or all three of them, then why not, diba? And then susuportahan na lang siya nila Obermeer tsaka Nick Parashel. So it's still up in the air. Uh, but for the time being, I guess we'll just have to uh, wait and see kung ano yung magiging decision over him. As for the other players that you have, uh, John Patrick's ad, uh, J.P. Strauss. Now, uh, si J.P. Strauss kasi the last time I got to see him play, I forgot which opponent was it. Uh, he's a very organized midfielder. Uh, even at a young age, he's very mature. He's a very mature player. Na he can really pick a pass and he can really defend deep too. So important yan sa sa midfield na makarok kasi ng backbone. Eh. And I believe na he will be put in a position na bibigyan siya ng ganong klase na responsibility. Eh. There will be definitely some help. Uh, both with the veterans, just like Stefan Schrock, if he will be asked to sit deep, or uh, Ian Ramsey, uh, hmm. kung hindi siya paglalaro na sa wing back na naman, de ba? or uh, kukuha sila ng tulong na with the new guys like uh, si Jared Holtman, who's also a deep-lying midfielder then sometimes for his team. So there are possibilities, uh, given na how possibly flexible flexible this team can be. So the goals may come from those areas then, but that will really depend talaga on the setup. We will have to wait and see talaga on the uh, upcoming games talaga on how, how will they fare with. But uh, just like what I believe Kevin said, the goal difference is zero. Something has to be done if yeah. if they really have to score or come up with ways on how to create chances talaga from midfield, of course. As for the forwards, kasi it's pretty much forgiven uh, given the service that they've uh, provided for the country naman din. They will produce. But given the uh, age that they are right now, there has to be some adjustments made for them na... Uh, hindi dapat masyadong maging demanding for them, I believe, uh, as the game sees it fit, umaga, or else, mauubusan tayo ng, ng options up front. You can only do so much kasi about, as to, if you keep uh, ang hilirado kasi just up top. Eh. Kasi ang mangyayari kasi niyan, kapag nag-3-5-2 naman tayo, nag-3-4-3, uh, you will be asking him to defend, or at least mag-man mark yes. almost all yeah. the game, mm-hmm. which is delicado, delicado for his health. Same with Mark Hartman naman din. Although, there's a chance naman din na si Mark kasi can adjust kasi uh, as far as experience is concerned kasi he used to play as a 10, he used to play as a where on both sides before. Lalo na nung kalakasin nila misag din nun, he was able to make his adjustments din nun before. So there are chances naman din. But uh, I believe with the uh, games kasi coming in right now and definitely most of the kids will be playing naman din from the other teams naman including China. Definitely, I'm sure they will be playing some of their 20-something players na rin by then. Ah, wala yung mga Brazil yan nila. Maybe. That's another possibility. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if uh, what kind of adjustments Coach Scott will do with these guys. So, uh, uh, I'm not really expecting that much. Pero if they can come conjure up with something sa first game pa lang, na that they can produce something out of uh, possibly nothing, given na uh, yung goal difference kanil is zero, then why not, di ba? And dami mga bago eh. so there's a lot of possibilities coming out of this one. All right, thanks for that, Julio. Thanks for that. Uh, what you call, call it? It's, I wouldn't call it a crawl. It's more of a refresher for me. Kasi na, mm. Some of these guys, I just know via the games or via Twitter. Na parang we keep on, you know, at least now we're you know, scouting Latin for 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 the future is uh, more active. I just want to show something though from also from Twitter. 
I saw this graphic and it's well it's from a Japanese Twitter account. Um basically says that uh this is the Fermi national team led by J2 Stalwart, Jeff Tabinas, and then um we have these, you know, half I wouldn't call them half beats, but you know, mixed uh mixed Filipino player. Right. Overseas Sorry? Overseas based <laughs> Filipino players who may be or maybe not uh, of mixed um, ancestry. <laughs> and then, uh, yun nga, as, as mentioned kanina, Neil, oh, Neil is our most capped player at 65 caps. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to show this one. Uh, ikaw, Kevin, uh, given your, um, you've been following the Ascals uh, for, the, for a long time now, uh, what's, your, what's your comment on, on, on this lineup? Uh, what what do you expect of them? What do you think they'll come up with? And who do you think yung kulang pa niya? As I said, actually nga nung sin nung pinos ko yung squad list natin, the only there's only three words I just I just said, my palag tayo, and there are a lot of factors about it. One is the element of surprise. Surprise. I I've lost count kung ilan yung mga true newbies sa Ascals because may mga na call up then previously like Nico De Vera in 2019 Baldis andami na rin on andami na rin na nasa radar natin Baldissimos also on our radar oh Rafael Obermeyer is also on our radar on our radar then on our radar then since Bayern pa that alone speaks our quality and with the mix it, with uh, with plenty of with plenty of of our res, of our resources from overseas Filipino footballers and our homegrown ones we I would say na overseas Filipino footballers because of the of the diaspora mga magulang natin Pinoy our constitution clearly said na kahit ang nanay mo Pinoy Pinoy ka na rin so that's the discussion there that's that's it so yon the element of surprise is there considering that and daming bala natin me home is and that is also sought after for a long time if not for that injury he might be in dubai for the asian cup can't alam ni can't be jan so he's not flying in tama ba ano he's not flying into i mean ano natagal ah, most of the most of our players most of the newcomers are on on our radar na rin eh. matagal na eh. That means you said new home. New home is uh, injured. Uh, yeah. He's part of the squad. What Matagal is he fighting with the squad? I don't. Wala pa, wala pa ang balita from Sweden. I'm not sure kung sino pa. Pero I'm also looking. Our wild card here would be Mardiano. I saw. I saw talaga personally kung leaps and bounds for Mendiola on his to start his pro career. He was he was playing center forward for UE under Fitz Arboleda. And to drop down to the def at the heart of the defense under Dan Padernal at Mendiola, and dun yung improvement niya and his flexibility. Tama si Kenton about being malleable. And that one classic example of example of Giano being that flexible and dangerous was his was his run that led to the goal against Green Archers United in 2019. Dun pa lang, I would say this, may, pala, may, tulog, may tulog tong kalaban natin if that Margia, that Menjola Margiano showed up. And as for the forwards, and dun yung concern ko, malaki yung concern ko about our depth. Ang dami nating papipilian, pero we only had two. I think two forwards are not enough. Sobra. Sobrang ulang tayo. If one goes down, yaring yari tayo. Ang health age is also major concern na rin because at that age, ang hirap din makahanap ng reliable forwards eh. Because it's, it's a game of... It's a game of speed, but international football. Eh. And knowing Mark Hartman since Loyola days, he's a dead eye at dead balls. Set piece master yan eh. So mga nanonood ng UFL, Julio knows this before eh. Na Mark Hartman's specialty is dead balls and free kicks. So that means that pag dating ng dead balls, you can pick your poison. Shraki, Mark Hartman, sino pipiliin mo? Tama nga, the flexibility would 
put into good use. I hope na parang makita yung makita yung options natin. I would like to see a para sabihin natin Angel at center forward then Oliver Bias and Harvey Gay also manning the wins on a 433. The midfield not would bad, be a, a midfield would be our problem spot kasi ang dami nating ile-left out. Sino ba yung magiging holding natin? Sino yung magiging ano natin? But again, the flexibility will come into play. The the back the back the back line would be a battle at the at the two center halves. I'm not not sure kung if if Nihon would play, it will be Alvaro and Nihon would play. If not, Tabinas can be. Bigay na natin yung holding mid kay Woodland. Then let's see Devera and Martin at the wing back. That will be a huge ano talaga. Pero kung Guam and Maldives man lang, I would like to see Shipman would play. Para at least Neil will be prepared and ready heading into China. Kasi injury concerns. One injury would affect everything pag international football. Si chemistry mo, depth chart mo. Doon pa lang makikita natin kung doon makikita natin yung kung paano gumalaw and yung chemistry to build as a team. Surely enough, most all of them would, most of them are already playing under Goran Milojevic. Si Goran yung na-designate ng gaffer natin from 2019 from our last, from our last, from our last international and Scott is designated as the assistant. So let's see if, so let's see Scott Cooper I hope he got the license right now. Finally, ando na yung malaking issue na doon, license. But I hope he would get notes from Goran. Okay. He will get right. everything, every notes from Goran and work it to perfection. Pero I hope we would surprise a thing or two because Li Ti Li Tie, the China manager has not I don't see any clue of I don't see any clue on how they will prepare the newcomers. I hope so. Okay. All right. Before I will, we have some questions, comments in the in the Facebook page. Thank you for joining us, no. But before I get into that, I wanna hear Carl's thoughts, no. Uh, looking at uh, at this lineup, Carl, uh, what's your take on uh, on how we're gonna do in the upcoming qualifiers? I think we'll do well if they could gel. That's the big question, eh. Lalo na most of the newcomers haven't really been within, kahit na within the camp talaga. With, yun lang talaga maging key doon. If they would gel, lalo na they come from different, uh, they speak different languages. Hopefully, they could understand through football. Pero yun lang talaga ang concern ko. And I think the goals will come naman, considering that our wingers in midfield, Shrok, uh, Ramsey, Reichelt, they could create for, ano eh, for the strikers. Although, medyo hindi tayo sure sa uh, kay Hartman at Girado kung magiging efficient ba sila sa kanilang chances. But I think they could, we could create may Holtman pa over Mare. I think we could create through the wings. Tapos sa defense naman, it's very good. Now, we would, we're seeing now the uh, Tabinas is 22, Diana's 23. The Veras 24. So medyo may bata-bata ng pamalit na dati naghihirap pa tayong maghanap ng defender. Hindi na mga medyo matatanda na no no ano no offense. Pero sure parin sila. <laughs> parin sila. <laughs> Pero siguro passing of okay, the guys. Leadership eh, di ba? No, leadership pa rin yun. Na pa, no? oh. Considering na si Alvaro naman di na nun siya reliant sa pace more on positioning talaga siya eh. Lalo nung Asian hmm. Cup nakita natin yun. Magaling talaga siya. So yun lang talaga maging key dito na mag-gel sila and makahanap ng formation. I think, ano eh, yung sa first game against, uh, saan ba tayo? Guam. First game? Guam. 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 I think, yeah. medyo, maging test natin yun eh. Ma- Kasi, most likely, yung anong lalaro sa Guam, konting alteration na lang yun for Maldives eh. Tapos, ang biggest game talaga is against China. Kasi, yeah. must win yun. Must win talaga yun. Tapos, kung Guam at Maldives, Hindi sa minamaliit sila, pero kailangan natin tambakan sila. Two, 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 three goals, mga ganun. Kasi saka I think Carl, what, may quality naman. Parang, wait lang. Sorry, guys. Uh, parang, Carl, 
we we have to take every opponent seriously. Ayoko mangyari yung nangyari sa atin against Yemen in 2015. Ah, okay. Agree. Kasi, Agree ako doon. Kasi and also when it comes to yeah, chemistry tama ka din doon. Tabinas could have gone mada, mapapadali lang, lang yung transition kay kay Jeff if Dice Kesato would be there. To be honest, kasi Actually, I was players going players to, players I was going to that after the questions. Eh. Uh, I want to touch on the players who are missing. Okay. But before before we go into that, uh, there's a question earlier in the comments. No, uh, maybe you can guys answer that. Uh, I think we have a friendly that was cancelled. Uh, Palestine yata. No. Uh, any idea on who, what? Ano? Or if there's a like pamalit dun sa friendly? Because I think. Si, si Rick, May nakita akong schedule kanina that there's an additional friendly before we actually uh, face Guam, no? Uh, would you guys have any idea who that opponent is? Syria Dapat. Syria, Syria Dapat, dapat eh, no? yeah, And yeah. Palestine. Ang naging nangyari kasi as per Sedelf's tweet is nagkaroon ng hold up bit, uh, with the uh, with the uh, ano, with the uh, ano, Chinese visas. Chinese kaya inaayos visas pa nila. Uh, no. But, uh, and... Ang best case scenario dyan, in my case, um, if they can schedule a Qatari club, um, tayo naman, ano eh, many times na nag, uh, wala tayong problema na mag- mag-schedule ng mga tune-up matches kahit yung closed door. Uh, either yung mga Emirati clubs or Qatari clubs. Um, I hope na, ano, in between, in between, ano, in between those days, eh, makapag-schedule sila ng isa. The tricky part there, though, is that the Chinese Football Association is planning to fly in the Ascals by May 30. So, anong oh, pecha na ngayon? Parang May 30 sila, nag-off sila magsundo ba yun or something? Oo, parang magsundo. Yun, diba? Magsasabayin lahat, pati mga referee, pati mga uh, Maldives, tsaka ano, Pa, uh, Guam tsaka Palest, ano, Palestine na players ay hindi pala Palestine uh, yung Syria pagsasabayan sa isang chartered flight e tinan yung pecha ngayon just 8 days left so uh, it will take a couple of days pa bago makompleto yung pool na nasa Doha so it will be a logistical challenge though I hope na makapagset sila kahit ano lang um, isa or dalawa yung kahit yung mga 30-30-30 na tune up match lang yeah, para oh. hindi masyadong bugbug sa katawan I think that's the, that's our disadvantage. Though. I mean, yeah, we have a lot of, of mga, uh, OFW kids who are <laughs> who we can we can tap all over the world. But yeah, the challenge is having that chemistry because unlike other national teams, the usual setup they actually play in a domestic league or they play within a continent. And madaling madaling iponin eh, unlike us, Europe, US, Canada. I mean that's that's as you said, guys. Chemistry, chemistry is really the the key. Yeah, we have talented players. Uh, we have, kumaga, we have converted full backs into center backs. We have converted strikers into defenders or wingers into wing backs. So, uh, I I think the potential is there, but you know, I think the chemistry. That's why the yeah the friendlies are important. Okay, so, uh my next question for the panel is. Mamaya na si BNV, ah. Mamaya na yun. Kasi obviously, he's not in the lineup. Uh, but... Mamaya na, who, i-resort pa pa yung angry man. Who are, ano? <laughs> who are the, kumbaga, notable exclusions mm. from the team? Like, for me, I, I was surprised that Sato is not there. Uh, pati inyo. Uh, kasi, kita ko forward, dalawa lang. At least, pati inyo would have helped. But I don't know his status now with the team. Uh, if something's happening. But you guys, what the, who are the... Uh, notable exclusions from that lineup, Julio. Uh, the reason why I didn't mention yung mga goalkeepers kanina is because for me, yun yung for me, uh, I believe that's the uh, most glaring omission na makikita natin sa buong lineup at this point in time. I'm, I'm not saying this na it's to our disadvantage, pero uh, I, I would like to believe kasi na it's because yung quality ng pagpili ng mga goalkeepers medyo nag-i-increase na. Kasi back in the day, we only uh, had... Who are you, who are you ano, referring to? Ba? Si Fausker ba? Kasi, kasi back in the day, we only had si Manong Ed sa Kapanyo and then you have Neil Etheridge yeah. and then kung sino lang yung magpili na lang ng goalkeepers here and there. Right. Ngayon, we have the likes of apart from Neil Etheridge, you have Roland Muller, Patrick Dato, Michael Falksgaard, 
you have those you have those selection of keepers. Uh, come to think of it, lima yun eh. It's a very yeah. deep pool, given yung experience nila. Especially those na lumipad ng Thailand, lalo na si Pat Dito. Dito yeah. So for them to bed in, in, a, in a new league, in a very competitive league such as the Thai League, both leagues one and two, uh, it's a big it's a big jump. And I believe they they excelled well naman din. Kasi they've had significant minutes naman din with their clubs. They've, they've, uh, they've clocked enough experience naman din for them to have a shot naman din with the national team. Uh, but uh, given the fact na I, I believe yung scouting natin as improved, I would like to echo Kevin for sentiment on that one. Uh, it kind of shows na din eh. Uh, but then again, you still need to have an old head kasi dun sa team and that's where Neil comes in uh, yeah. with, his, uh, with his Asian experience then. So it's a good section pa rin then overall. I'm not that familiar kasi with the uh, sabihin na natin sa other two goalkeepers pero I wish them the best if given the opportunity. And I do wish that they will be given that opportunity naman din to, to have a go uh, with the national team. Uh, uh, against China nga lang, it's a, it's a big ask, I guess. Pero why not, di ba? Makita natin sila kung paano sila makakapag-perform. But uh, yeah, come to, uh, come to think of ito, ang, ang laki na na-selection natin ng goalkeepers ngayon. Na. As in, we have, we have people to choose from now. Hmm. Uh, for the defense naman, uh, you're as surprised as I am. Dice Kisato's not there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why too. Uh, I don't think he's injured. Uh, his experience will be vital then. But then again, you have Cardi de Murga and Alvaro Silva and Martin Stoibla. So I hope that suffices then. And of course, yeah, Luke Woodland. Uh, I hope that suffices naman then somehow. Uh, with him, not in the lineup though. Uh, to be honest with you, it's not really much of a concern because of yung number of young spirits players kasi that you will be putting there. And of course, you have new home. Uh, na, nasa, na selected na for the lineup despite of his injury concerns. Uh, it's a good shout. Ang iniisip ko na lang kasi ngayon is yung na-mention ko kanina si Albana Yaginaldo eh. Kasi when he was starting, mm-hmm. nung nakapaglaro na siya sa national team at around 18, 19 years old, there were, there's talk kasi na he's supposed to be, you know, replacing some of the older players like si Rob Gear, Ray Yonson. Kumbaga siya na yung nakikita na kumbaga magiging anchor na kasi on defense. Yeah. But with him not present at this point in time, I hope it's not a blip in terms of his form. I hope he's not injured. Uh, and uh, moving forward then, I hope that he's, he remains to be available for him. And active well enough naman, uh, to be part of the selection. Right now, kasi parang, uh, given the run of, of the games, kasi that I remember seeing him play. Kasi, lalo na yung, I'm not so sure if Kevin remembers this game. Yung, semi-final against Thailand in 2014 nung nagkaroon na away. Yeah, there you go. Suzuki <laughs> Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 yes, there you go. Uh, they had one tie sent off on, on that night. Eh. Uh, I, yeah, there you go. Thanks, man. Uh, I do see uh, this very temperamental side of him. There's a chance kasi uh, someone asked uh, where's the man playing right now. He's in Thailand. Eh. Uh, I believe the uh, name of the Top, yep, there. Thai League. I think it's he's in League Nongbua. 2. Nongbua Nongbua Pichaya. Pichaya. Yep, there you go. Thank you. Thanks for that. Uh, I do see a temperamental side of him, it, which may be detrimental siguro sa buong team, but maybe also be turned as an advantage, given yung, uh, from, from what I could remember the last time that he played with the national team. So, with that being said, yun nga, sana the, the doors are still open uh, for yeah. for him to, ano, to be able to, ano, to, play, to play. Again, uh, in that so distant future. Uh, sa midfield naman, puro mga old heads na yung mga naiisip ko eh. Uh, I'm not really that much familiar with the PFL anymore. Uh, so I'm hoping lang talaga na with the current crop right now and with the experience so far with the newbies like si Obermeyer, uh, some of the uh, players na based sa second, uh, second and third year ng German football, kasi three of them are starters there eh. Uh, mainly on the left left hand side of the midfield, so I hope the experience will count. Uh, chemistry will be an issue. I agree with Carl, Carl there. Pero uh, if it does click at some point, then I hope it does. Uh, not that soon, pero sana makita naman natin sa mga games regardless of the uh, results. Forwards right. naman. Ako I, I may sound a little insistent, pero uh, I guess yun yung frustration ko. I guess uh, we haven't seen Jingoy Balmario. Balmayor kasi for the longest time eh. I was really hoping kasi na I would... Medyo out of form na si Jingoy. So, oh, uh, yeah. 
I mean, ang layo okay. na niya from 2014-2015 eh. Ang supposed na dapat na susunod na sa paakit na learning na, na upward curve na yun kasi si Jarvie Gayoso kasi. But because Para he was kasi played in a different si Jim Burr kasi he had reached his peak early with UP. Yung first freshman sophomore niya. Nagkaroon, early pick na siya eh. 2010-2011 nung nagka it's like his MVP season. Title team. First title ni Coach Antok. So yun. Na ganun na nag-hit na siya ng wall kung maga that early. Yeah. Which is not good. <laughs> Uh, pero yun nga, that's why I want to go back then kay Jarvie Gosa because the upward curve was supposed to be there. But yun nga, just like what what happened to Marjano kasi he was put in a different position na altogether. Uh, with Diano, with Diano kasi uh, with a little time kasi I had the chance kasi to watch Menjola United. I think that he was able to adjust well, surprisingly. So bras, a huge jump from striker to defender. Even for lower leagues like CFL, it's a really tough adjustment. Eh. So sa ganong oh. level pa lang, it's a huge ask eh. but but for him that he res- but the way that he responded kasi sa 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 field uh, it's a remarkable feat kumbaga malaki rin kasi si Marv for malaki rin kasi si Marv na fit siya for a center half to partner Suleiman and Depe kaya doon siya nagkaroon ng talaga doon yung break niya talaga eh. and that and niya as i said before yung goal niya against Green Archers United he shows his speed and speed matters especially international football kasi Makakita ka ng ganyang run. Tapos pag, nag, pag nagkaroon ng problem, you have to go run back pass kasi one long ball away, you're gonna be toast. Oh. So, so ang question ngayon doon, since uh, I was really hoping kasi na I would like to see Jarvik Iwaso kasi being, being given the chance kasi to play up top. Or at least right. as a support striker kung baga, just like Mark Hartman. It may not be the case this time, but given the options kasi that we have right now, Kobaga in terms of depth, then maybe just maybe. If not, then I hope Coach Scott Cooper will be able to get someone from the midfield and uh, help support the uh, only two strikers that we have, which is it's again it's a big, <laughs> yeah. it's a big talaga. As in, I mean, uh, I really like Angel Grado. Uh, oh, I would like to put that down. Kaya lang given the number of ser- number of years of service na binigay niya sa atin, lalo na nung for me yung pickup his powers niya yung 2012 na Suzuki Cup, if I'm not mistaken. When I remember he scored that really good goal nung ano eh. Nung Myanmar, final game. game for, yeah, yung final game. As in, Injury it was a really game. good yung feeling talaga eh. Oh, pick of his powers na yun. Eh. Oh, okay. So he's, he's not exactly there na isa shepherd lang niya yung mga players, especially the new ones. Pero it will be a huge ask din kasi for him to lead the line eh, or for long periods eh. I hope para uh, magawin siya lang malajirug na para siya yung tall imposing na he would let the others score parang ganun. Oh yeah. Parang Giroud, uh, parang Giroud yung laro. Hmm. Or, possibly, given the size that he has, pwede siyang gamitin na sa batting ring ram. <laughs> Literal na target man talaga. Physical target man. Pwede yun. Pero, yan ano yan. name ulit man? Hindi ko na maalala. Hindi ko na maalala. Anong name niya ulit? Uh, Alin, sorry, ano yung question? Ano yung name na minention mo? Hindi ko na maalala. I'll try to Google it. Okay, okay. Sige, sige. 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 Maybe I'll just All type right. it around. Oh, <laughs> so, right. yun. Yun lang naman sa akin. Uh, oh. it's, a, it's a concern, pero yun nga, uh, given how deep, how deep this lineup could possibly be, then most likely, sana may, hug- may mahugot nga. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, Patrick Reichelt. Eh. Uh, in the early days, kasi nung kubaga kasikata nung national team, 2010 and onwards, there was a there was certain parts of the games kasi nun, in the previous days kasi nun na pinaglalaro din kasi siya as parang sort of second striker si Patrick Rachel uh, the trend was the upward curve trend ko baga what's there for him eh. pero parang mas comfortable yata siya siguro as a wingman I believe so that's the reason why I guess every time na binibigyan siya ng chance na makapaglaro for the national team he's always out there para si Misa Bahadora para siya out and out na winger parang dito na lang ako Pasaya na ako dito sa labas. Napasa-pasa na ako doon. Pasaya na siya eh. Parang ganun eh. I mean, it would be nice siguro to see him in the take of the action. Kasi he can really score. Ang okay yung ano niya. Uh, capabilities niya talaga kasi to score up front eh. Pero I guess, siguro baka nire-request nila sa coach para doon na lang ako. Magbibigay na lang ako ng bola mas doon pa ako masaya. Pero we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Pagkakas natin ko okay. na mangyayari. Nice. Thanks, Julio. I wanna go to Carl. Uh, Carl, for you, who's the biggest omission aside from from BNB, who do you think is their biggest 
uh, or most surprising exclusion from I the think, lineup. Uh, I think like for like uh, yung Ott Brothers talaga. Medyo nagtataka rin ako kapag wala sila. Oh, Lalo na, ano? Ano, ano, <laughs> ano, hindi, hindi ko minamaliit si Bias and si Fadger Lee. Oh, I mean, they're still young, but I think we we could opt for more experience. Lalo na against China, more creativity. I think we could opt for more experienced heads talaga. Lalo na, they're 19 and 18. They have more chances naman. The Ott brothers could bring something different to the team. Lalo na sa creativity. Lalo na magkapatid din. If you would watch uh, sa UFL or sa national team din dati, creative yung dalawang yan. Eh. Tapos, they really try uh, try try the balls na hindi ginagawa ng ibang players eh. and tricks. Lalo na si si Mike. Si Manny naman, stabilizer, na pwedeng kasama ni uh, ni Woodland or ni Strauss sa gitna. So, I think those are the biggest misses talaga apart from Bienve and Sato. Kasi sa forward line, wala naman tayong talagang aasahan na unless Phil goes out of retirement. Tama <laughs> 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 Garvey just games. goes up top. I don't know. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, so for you, the Ott Brothers. Oh, nga, no? I, I, I completely missed out on the Ott Brothers. Right. Si Mike and si Manny. But yeah, you're right. Though. Si Mike is more of the the steady guy. And then, ah, M- Manny. Manny is more of the steady Manny. guy. Mike is more of the of the creative uh, creative one. No? I want to go to Kent first. Ah. Kent, ikaw, who's the biggest omissions for you? For me, na sa ano eh, uh, nasabi na nung karamihan, pero let uh, focus lang muna sa dalawa. Uh, first of all, okay. si Manny Ott. Um, Manny Ott is one of the most tenured um, members of the national team since uh, 2011, nagalaro na yan. Ang, to konti United comparison, Manny Ott plays like one Mata. He's a very deep-lying mm. playmaker that can uh, box-to-box siya. And at the same time, meron siyang ability for late runs. And yung mga pasa na parang siya lang yung nakakakita. There was one time na noong 2017-2018 na siya yung nagpapatakbo ng midfield. I remember one game in Nepal. Um, ano? Uh, wala siya sa midfield and hindi tayo nakakreate ng any chances. Natapos yung laro, 0-0. Zero, zero. Ah, yeah, the uh, away one. Uh, uh, oh, the away one. Mm-mm. Asian Cup qualifiers yun. Talagang na, walang sustansya yung midfield. Working. Mm-mm. Yun yung if we win, we're in. Walang, walang na-create na chances na matino that time. So, um, ang problema lang kay Manny recently, he's been dealing with a lot of injuries. Wap, ano, uh, sa, and siya din kasi yung, ano, she's, uh, Manny's playing a lot of minutes with Melaka United. So, isa siya sa mga main anchors dun. So, given na yun nga, prone siya sa injury. Tas, an, ano, medyo malaki pa yung chunk of minutes na nilalaro niya sa Malaysia. Uh, it, it affects his ano his well-being his condition so yun ang talagang malaking ano sa akin malaking ano pawalan kasi if we can have in, in midfield yung iba diyan pwede nating paglaruin in a more advanced position baka pwede pa nating i-convert yung iba sa strikers like si Gayoso pwede nating i-convert kasi may money out ka naman sa midfield eh, na kaya mag-create and second is si um si Amani eh ko na kumain ka pansin nito 2 years ago sa China sa Panaad he was used as a sub to tactically foul Wulei. So, ang ginawa lang niya, parang sundan mo si Wulei, huwag mong bigyan ng kahit anong espasyo. Huwag kakuha ng bola, bola pa agad. Na, foul, foul mo agad. Para Ganun ang ginawa. Yeah. Oo, oh, oh. para parkisong to Andrea Pirlo. And that yeah. was one of the main factors kung bakit hindi siya hin, naging, na, ano, na-offset yung epekto ni Wulei the whole game. Kung baga, pag nakalagpas siya kay Sato, nandiyan naman si Amani para sundan siya and bigyan siya ng rough tackle. Uh, ganun yung para, purpose niya Doon nagamit yung ano eh Tulad sa basketball, only fun Yung sinabi ni, uh, ni Julio na parang agre- Yung aggression niya 5 years ago With ano, Adisak Dito pinakita niya 2 years ago sa Panaad Against China na kaya niyang i-control yun At kaya niyang i-utilize ni Coach Scott Yung aggression ni Amani Into a more tactical ano, ta- To a tactic that can change the game and to make their opponents uncomfortable. Sayang lang kasi ganun, ano, if ever na kumari, si, makaharap nila si Wulei or si El Quezon or si Nico Yanaris, yung mga malalakas na ano, naturalized attackers ng China, pwede siyang gamitin si to, ano eh, na-git, ano eh. Ano, pwede siyang, si ano, pwede siyang manggit-git eh. 
ganun yung ano, ganun yung kayang gawin ni Amani. Baga, dikitan mo lang tong si Wule, si Elkeson the whole game. Don't give give them space ganun. Sayang. Do kay ano um, another is Daisuke Sato, pero ang maganda naman, we have Jefferson Tabinas. Uh, that can ano, that can Uh-oh. play LB. Uh, di ko lang sure kung he's good going forward, pero at least we have a lot of left-footed players in the team right now that can Uro offset kaya left paano yun. So, that's a... Right wing nila. Left back na pang right wing nila. Si Sato, actually. I, I, dahil wala si Sato, I'm actually exempt, uh, excited for Kemter, no? From the Swiss Leagues. And yes, good catch, Chris. Kevin Ingreso is also a notable exclusion. More of a Matic type. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mistaken, no? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, Kevin, yan. Uh, it's your time to shine. Uh, since marami kang okay, comment kanina sa ibang speaker, uh, ikaw, ito na. Solo mo na ngayon. Sino tingin mo ang, ano, ang na-exclude sa lineup na dapat kasama? Yung goalkeeper sorted na tayo doon. It's okay na maraming ma-left out. Pintos, si Pintos wala din, ha? So let's say Anthony Pintos, the the young Ascals goalkeeper ng SEA Games, wala din. Pero ang dami kong pagpipilian and it's more on the side of the youth. Sa defense natin, I would like to say ang pinakamalaking sayang dito, Justin Baas. Justin Baas. Hindi, hindi yung... Hindi, Actually, it's, not, it's not in the stats yung makikita natin visually. Pero yung angas niya on the field, kailangan kailangan natin. Case in point, Malaysia Sea Games 2019. Alam ni Kent yan. Too bad na nasa, na nasa Novaliches ako nun and sila nasa Rizal Memorial. But seeing Bas climbing on the fence and having that harsh high five that divided the country, screw you sa mga nag kay Justin Baas. Isang malaking mid, isang malaking finger diyan mga pun, mga punyeta kay <laughs> Sorry guys. Alalay pa rin. Sige lang uh, sige lang. So mga ungas kayo, mga ungas kayo na mag-hate kay Sandali lang, sandali lang. <laughs> mga loko-loko kayo. Mga walang utak yan. But I like Justin Baas's passion. It speaks for itself. That Malaysia game shows why. Na he's willing na makipagpatayan. Literally. Kahit literally. For that. And another thing. Yung midfield natin. I would. Gusto ko yung. Gusto ko nga makita yung ano eh. Eric Galantes of Hibs. <laughs> Eric Galantes of Hibs is another one. Sobrang shifty. Sobrang maliit. Sobrang malikot. Kailangan din natin yung taong yun eh. He's our, parang sinabi natin, pinabatang Mike Ott. Kent knows that too. Yung Galantes may laban din yan eh. Kaya ako sinabi yun because we can have that kind of an influential midfielder na can be a game changer. Yun. Another one, on the forward line, I don't know kung Form-wise, masama yung kay Chima. Pero parang siya yung ginawa natin, Giroud natin nung SEA Games eh. Na sobra siyang maligned dahil wala siyang goals na nilagay siya up front over Harvey. And, pero andun yung purpose niya eh. At least siya yung target man na he will let the others do the scoring duties. But I think, I think yung pinakagusto kong makita talaga on the forward line would be Kike Gomez of Lincoln Red Imps. Uncap siya, pero at 27, parang siya yung pinabatang Angel Gerardo na he can he can score his own shot. Yun yung mga talagang clinical off front. I would feel bad if Habi Patino should be there too if not for some off, off pitch reasons and Apart from that, nagpapabati yung teacher natin from Negros Occidental, si Miss Mika Glaraga. Hi, Hello, Mika. Mika. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. na, naging ano na. Kompleto, naging kompleto ano, mo ang iyon. I really feel Shout like out. an old-timer here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ano yan, <laughs> Red Max? 
Red, red man sa Pilipinas. Pero yun. Yun nga yung sinabi ko eh. Justin Bass is a good one. Is a, go- is a good omission. He could have had stayed in AZ. Pero yung playing time, he's already back here for United City. But I like to see that kind of passion na kailangan natin for the team. Na And kailangan natin. Bass can also play multiple positions eh. No? O well, makipagpatayan siya sa ano eh. <laughs> And then, yeah, Eric Galantes of Hibs. That, Or, that is quality for you. And ayun nga, si Kike Gomez or on our forward line. And another thing, the biggest what if ah, na lang talaga would be Elias Mordal. Eh. It's sad that he retired too early for understandable reasons. Mahirap na din eh. Mahirap din yung plight niya na the pandemic hit and I hope think... less part na din. So, yun. But, I would like to see those 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 omissions soon na I hope they will still be available na din. And ang hirap, yeah, I think ang hirap Kiki, Kiki, Gomez is, Kiki Gomez is exempted kasi uh, because, yun nga, nagkaroon ng extension yung UEFA. They had a, an expanded league, no? the Europa Conference League. And I, I think, um, uh, mas may chance na maka, ma, makaanawa sa UEFA League isang ang team nila Champions sa League. Gibraltar. Champions yeah. League. So, Champions League qualifying, why, Europa League qualifying na the conference. Kaya din siya ba na yan. Alright. But, thank, you your, si yeah, yeah, thank, thank you for your... Thank you for your... Ano, ah, for your um, omissions. I mean, kung sino yung mga sayang na hindi nakuha, no? Tapos okay. nasa yung song pa ako for, ano, no? for ranting, no? <laughs> Kulang na lang yung bleep sound, eh. <laughs> Sige, next time yun lang yung boses mo. Puro ano. <laughs> Uy, para pati yung, mga comment, pati yung mga side comment na mahaba. Ganon din. Ayan ganun po, asterisk. <laughs> Alright, so uh, wrapping up wrapping up the show, no? Uh, we've... we've um, extend, extend. Uh, <laughs> Dapat dito. We can have a part. We can always have a part two, no? Um, so we've talked about omissions. Uh, and of course, the biggest omission is really, you know, Uh, the kumbaga, nabitin na naturalization ni BNV. I mean, um, how big is the loss of him not joining this this round of qualifying? Uh, oh. Sabi nga, nabanggit nga na parang yung iba masyadong inaasa sa kanya yung, yung performance sa Ascals. Yung iba naman parang sinasabi na bakit hindi na naman fair yung pag-treat sa football to basketball because of course Kwame has been naturalized but Ben is not. So, um, oh my gulay. How, how big of a loss <laughs> is Ben Be? As in parang kumbaga if he's there ba uh, mas confident na tayo maka third round sa World Cup qualifier? Who wants to chime in first? Huwag muna si Kevin kasi galing lang siya kanina. Sige, Ken. Okay. Oh, oh, mamaya na ako, mamaya na ako. Okay, um, ganito kasi. Uh, first of all, Bienve is 35 years old. Yan yung isa sa mga main cons sa kanya. Yeah. Pero if you can remember, Southeast Asian football, there's this naturalized player for Singapore named Alexander Juric who played as a striker from 20, 2007 to 2012, scoring 24 international goals in just in 53 caps. He's a, he's a freak. I mean, he was the main offensive option of Singapore when they won two Suzuki Cups. Yung isa, tinalo pa nila tayo. Um, ang main advantage having Maran yun, uh, naturalized, um, would be his familiarity with Stefan Schrock and the other attackers. Um, limang taon na naglalaro si Bienvenido Maranyon dito sa Pilipinas. He started his career here in 2015 with Ceres. So, gamay na gamay na niya yung style of play ng mga magiging kasama niya sa national team. Um, he's got extensive Southeast Asian experience. He's the all-time leading scorer in the AFC Cup. He can play both ano, sa wing Um, he is very good at the counter attack. He's a very clinical finisher uh, in local standards. Kung baga, kung ano eh, no no bias kung sa finishing lang. Bienvenido Maranyon is the best finisher that we have in the PFL right now in the local scene. So well, yung mga love you katulad yung kay Edinson Cavani. Alam ko sa AFC Cup nagawa niya against ano Yangon United. Though outside of the box lang, 
pero you can ano it still takes a lot of technical skill for him to do that and he can play nine center forward as well at times um isa pa siguro is yung nga, ano um yung kakulangan natin sa forward pwede natin siyang ano sa harap eh pwede natin siyang iporma sa harap para mabawasan yung yung load kay uh, kay Girado and kay Hartman Uh, he still has pace for a guy who's 35 years old. He still has good pace. And he's a double threat. He can cre- he can whip in crosses. He can... Pwede siya makimix in sa midfield and provide... Uh, mag-track back. Kaya niya pa yun. And yun nga, uh, he's capable of finishes outside of the box, um, out of the boot. Kaya niya. I've seen him play a lot of times uh, being a fan of local football and nang sasabi ko na sa kanya parang in some games he's not even trying pero he's getting the goals. Ganon. Um, hindi ko um, masasabi ko na ano na for, in his current form right now magiging malaki siyang kawalan talaga. Uh, pero I don't think na parang yung kawala, yung parang yung parang messianic na parang we're doomed without him. That's not true. Uh, let us not discredit the yung the rest of the players kasi parang ano eh, we're putting too much pressure on ano eh, on Maranyon at the end of the day Maranyon is still untested on the Asian level Southeast Asian level proven si Maranyon pero yung sa tingin sabi na, na parang ano siya yung parang he can do it all na parang kapag nakahabol siya sa lineup he will produce ano uh, let's tone down a bit on that wag nating uh, masyadong ano yung tao i pressure ganun pero I agree that he can do so much. He can be a ito, he can, dagdag pa, he can be a mentor to Harvey Gayoso. Maturuan mm. niya ng finishing yung iba. Uh, sila mm. sila sin baba. Yung mga ibang ano, yung mga ibang ano diyan, pwede nga his experience is a lot. He played for Cadiz. Cadiz is in, on, in La Liga now. So, uh ang nung baon niya, experience and yung current form niya. Kung may kung may ano, kung may he can give us a good three years kung kaya siyang kung kaya siyang alagaan ng P, ano, P, ano yung tawag doon? Yung PT team ng United City tsaka ng Ascals, baka kaya limang taon yan. So, Parang slata, no? Mm-mm. So, masasabi oh, yeah. ko, he, ano, yeah. he's, he is he is a very, uh, yung loss niya, may may part na talagang nanghihinayang, pero at the same time, ano, uh, that's not, ano, wag tayong malungkot kasi darating din yung pirma niya. And at the same time, knowing him, gusto niya rin na mag-excel yung mga guys na nandito and na na-call na up dito. And who knows, Suzuki Cup, baka makita natin na si Bianbe play, ano, playing for the national team. That would be fun. Right, right. And then else would ch- want to chime in on the... Uh, okay, Julia, go ahead. Uh, I have not seen Maranion play, to be honest, uh, in, the, in the local leagues. But I was able to... But I would say I'm fortunate enough na I was able to see him play Uh, every single time na nasa international sa United City sa AFC if I'm not mistaken sa mga zonal there is naman there and there you go thank you I would say yeah. and from from what I've observed uh, I would I would like to describe him as talismanic in the sense na lahat ng kailangan mo sa isang striker kaya niyang gawin for you uh, not just he can play as a target man he can also play as a second striker uh, ilatag na natin yun uh, for those na hindi familiar So for him missing out on a lineup like this in a crucial period like this especially mga kalaban natin na katulad ng China uh, it's a it's a real glaring omission given na uh, we need someone kasi was an additional experience kasi up top uh, given naman na uh, given naman na nandiyan naman si Angel Gerardo si Mark Hartman okay lang yun pero we really need someone else to fill that void and that void is definitely uh, is seen on paper sana hindi makafeel. Kasi kahit paano naman, magagawa naman ng paraan na, na mafeel yung void naman yun kahit paano with some uh, adjustments naman na, mag, na magagawa eh. Pero uh, if you look at it, uh, BNP not making in this lineup uh, may dent yung chances kasi natin to come up with a squad that can compete. Sabihin na natin, not just within this year or with the upcoming Suzuki Cup, but in the next three to five years if he, if he remains healthy. Kasi given the options kasi that we have right now talaga, we really need someone kasi who can lead the line eh, kumbaga, at this point in time. Eh. And uh, especially with his availability, which is put into question kasi yun nga, na-metro na ni, ni Jeff na ito lang ah, uh, if I'm not mistaken kasi nabasa ko rin sa, sa news yun, 
sabay kasi sila ni Kuwama kasi nag-apply ng Philippine citizenship last month 15. But uh, for, well, obvious reasons, nauna si Kuwama because ako, I would like to believe kasi na, not just because of yung sabihin na nating very priorities kasi na since we're living in a basketball country. Pero there's also such thing kasi when it comes to sabihin na nating legal matters like this kasi we have this called sabihin na nating lobbying siguro, yung lobbying powers na na siguro for the players na nag apply na citizenship. And uh, granted, granted na uh, Ansh Kwame kasi comes from a, from a school kasi na definitely marami mga nag for the players to play professionally, na mapasok sa national team. Uh, that cannot be denied definitely. But that it doesn't mean na meron siya leverage. Nagkataon lang talaga na uh, syempre kailangan na rin ng, ng, ng gilas din kasi syempre ng, ng additional bodies na din kasi given na uh, some of the players are aging. So that's why he got in. But the problem kasi is bakit na iwan si Bill Pitt, di ba? Sana, sana nagsabay silang dalawa. So, what's taking them to so long? So, with that kind of delay, uh, from a fan's perspective, kasi it's very disappointing. Alam mo yun, nandun na yung opportunity kasi to help build and rebuild yung interest sana din kasi. Uh, not just for these qualifying qualifiers, eh, but for uh, for the games moving forward. Eh. And with BNV gone, then uh, I hope there will be some adjustments naman din kasi to, again, fill that one particular void talaga. Uh, with him not yet around. Pero uh, I believe naman din that there will be a chance naman din in the not so distant future that he will be playing. Kasi for a player like him na uh, I may not remember some of the teams that uh, Ceres played uh, in the zonals. Correct me if I'm wrong. I did watch this game na nakalaban natin yung Tigers, the legendary uh, JDT teams ng, ng JDT team ng Malaysia. And they really had problems with their Tigers eh. So, si with that Fernando being said, Rodriguez yun. Fernando Rodriguez yun. That winning penalty okay. na nagkarayot na daw sa panaad dahil lang doon. And okay. malaking news sa Mali, malaking news yun sa Johor after that eh. Mm, yeah. It really shook their boots to the core. As in, parang, saan ang ganito mga Pilipino na to? <laughs> They beat one of her, beaten one of the bigger teams eh. Okay. So, And that was uh, the AFC Cup champions to boot ah. Yep. They won the mm-hmm. AFC Cup. That's the big thing. Is it? Mm-hmm. So, so with that being said, nga, uh, I hope uh, we, I hope this team can fill up that void. Uh, until then, we just have to wait for Bianco to come into the team, which uh, I would like to believe that that he will uh, at some point in the future. All right, let's try that. Okay, just to wrap the broadcast, no. Uh, uh, one name, one name from the pit lineup that you're most excited for uh, in this upcoming qualifying round. Okay, let's go around the river final. Kevin, who's the one in London? Don't need to elaborate. We'll elaborate on the part two. Of the so, kalimutan nyo mawala ako about KBN, pero nasabi na nila na nasabi na lahat. <laughs> pero... Ang sabi mo na nila sa comment mo. Sige, go. Pero nasabi naman go lahat. Uh, nasabi ko naman nung ano eh. Nasabi ko naman Thursday yata yun eh. Thursday yun eh. <laughs> pero it's understandable na... Ayun nga, yung kapat. Kapat ko pang text sa game. Ano ba? Mine would... Sobrang excited ako. I'm not sure kung sino, but it would be Paldissimo. Paldissimo. Is he in the lineup? I'm not sure. Yeah, Mike Paldissimo. Yeah. Pero I'm more torn about Diano, pero with that depth, depth I would go Mike Paldissimo. All right. Thank you, thank you. Carl, who? Uh, who are you going to with? Uh, I hope I'm not wrong, ha? Huh? I hope I'm not wrong, eh. Kasi may open mouth. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, yung sa lineup natin ngayon, I think si Obermeer talaga. Obermeer. Matagal-tagal na natin hinahabol to kasi may mga certain issues daw. Ayaw daw niya lumipad. Yeah, na. man. Long haul. Holt- Holtman yun. Si Holtman Ay, yun. Si Holtman pala yun. Si Holtman, pala yun. Si Holtman so, yun. Nasa, nasa Der Spiegel pa nga yung article na yun eh. Der Spiegel ba yun o Build? <laughs> build, I think. Build. Na, I think o- Obermeer. Obermeer ako kasi may experience sa Bayern. So, I think he could show his quality. Na he could. Lalo na medyo mahirap kalaban ng China. Yung, yung may ano sila, may dati silang ex-England under 20. Si Tyus Browning. Nilalaro ko sa FIFA yun dati. <laughs> What about Chinese? My Chinese name is Chinese, you know? Uh, <laughs> may, may ano, naturalized Englishman na rin sila. So, I think he could 
Pero actually, may Chinese ancestry daw yun eh. Alam mo naman. Like Yenaris, yan. Si Yenaris may ano yan. Or I'm not sure kung ano ba yung ano niya. Ay, wala. Ay, tama, tama. Ano siya? May ano nga. May Chinese, ancestry. Chinese. Ah, Chinese. Okay. May ancestry. Si Yenaris tsaka si Browning. Ang wala lang talaga, si Elkeson tsaka si Goulart. Mga naturalized. Na naturalized na. Ken, oh. ikaw, who are you most excited with? Mute, mute. Hello, hello. An- yon, yon, okay na, okay na. Who am I excited with? Um, I'll be honest. Being a more, uh, I'm more of a defense first guy, Kemter. Um, si Kemter kasi ano eh, uh, first of all, ano siya, uh, veteran siya in the Swiss leagues with FC Zurich before he, he's become, eh, before siya na gano, na nasa Nuschetel sa Max ngayon. But he has a good, uh, meron siyang ano sa, Swiss League and we know yung mga sides diyan sa Europe like Belgian and ano mga Swiss teams medyo ano sa defense yan eh mga physical maglaro ng defense yan tsaka ma ano din mag ball playing abilities so i'm really looking forward uh, to see Kemter to ano parang i tag doon parang in, in neutralize niya yung de- defense i'm looking at him as like ano eh combined na um Juan Girado tapos Paul Mulders. Kaya maglaro ng bola ni ano ni kayang mag build from the back ni Michael uh, ni Kempter. So that's a uh, kasi naglaro din siyang ano eh, left back eh. So ano magandang ano yan na parang kunarin. Pag di tayo ano pag hindi tayo pag hindi maka-create using our midfield, eh, ano na lang uh, give it to Kempter then he'll create. At isa pa siguro honorable mention, Mark Winhofer. Uh, Mark Winhofer played college okay, soccer from for Yale. Um Ivy League yan. Oh, Ivy League and he became an all first Ivy League uh member, first oh, team member cool. last ano last year. Uh, di lang siya na draft ngayong MLS Super Draft kasi ang bibigat na rin ng mga nakakalaban mga pick do, mm-hmm. picks doon. Pero for him to be part of a for of a Yale team na nag maganda yung performance sa Ivy League. Sa tingin ko maganda siyang ano, maganda siyang option na sub for midfield or wingers. Dati na rin siya naglaro for Global and for the under yung under 18 ng Philippines. Malaki yung ano, malaki yung maitutulong niya. <laughs> lat, lat, ano, actually ano eh, hindi lang yun. Maraming bago talaga sa lineup na exciting. Ang challenge lang siguro i ano talaga i-integrate ng maayos at magkaroon ng taunting <laughs> chemistry. All right. So, angry Ryan. 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 Oh, my fans ka na. Who is it? Who are you most ako, excited? Oh, ako pinag-isipan ko pa eh kasi kanina kasi nagbukas kasi ako ng FIFA uh, sa console <laughs> sa bahay. I really wanted to take a peek on yung kubaga from their own perspective stats-wise kasi yun. Kung ano yung qualities kasi ng mga players and uh, I got all I got, apart from the uh, notes that I have, <laughs> uh, are the guys na were playing in the second year and third year ng German leagues. You have uh, si JP Strauss, uh, si Holtman, and of course, uh, the man of the hour, I wish I could, wish I would like to say his name was the man of the hour, Rafael Obermeer. Uh, apart from uh, yung, yung PFF natin, been chasing him for quite some time. We're looking at a guy kasi na if he flourishes with this national team, I would say na he could be an absolute steal from the from the man shop. Because you're looking at one of the top prospects then kasi sa kanila. Not exactly at the same level sa na natin katulad nila Timo Werner, Serge Gnabry, Joshua Kimmich. Not really in that particular level. Pero in terms of, let's say, upward curve niya, nandun siya. And uh, the way he played kasi with, uh, with Maddenberg kasi I was able to watch few clips of him. Uh, he's capable of being that new talisman natin ko bagay. Uh, we may have seen some glaring omissions, especially the Ott brothers. But with him around, and with him having this chance to see him more often, hopefully, uh, in in future call-ups, then we have a player there. Uh, someone that can carry the ball, someone that can really defend deep, someone that can make adjustments, someone that can command the presence in the middle, and someone that can create chances and score them. But, well, mostly create chances. Talaga. Yun talaga yung sa mga forte niya from the left hand side. Eh. Parang, right. uh, I'm kind of looking at a, uh, not exactly a D-man shop, 
uh, team B sa national team natin. Kasi we can definitely feel the four or five man midfield kasi full of players kasi of German descent and with a similar style of play din kasi na I would like to point out din sa sinabi ni ni, ni Kent na they can also play physical Physic, uh, they have this uh, physicality din sa, sa style ng mga liga na nila uh, I see that in them so there's a chance there's a chance eh. uh, but we'll have to wait and see it's all on paper pa naman eh. and uh, they will really need that time talaga for them to come up with this uh, to to be able to gel eh. Uh, to come up with ways on how to connect with each other para on the field. Right. So we will see. But said, <clears throat> the mere fact na I saw those names and I was able to watch them on those clips, parang, okay, we really have players. No? We really have players para hindi kahit paano with those three. Yeah. And as you said, no, puro German yung mga pinagugutan natin. And, you know, andito din sa graphic. I just pulled it up again. Uh, yeah, it's, we have mostly Phil Germans, so I think that up in the long term. So yeah, this has definitely been a good panel. Uh, as my the comment there, we need a part two, and I think uh, we can plan for a part two. Uh, back to regular programming on the next episode, because we have, of course, the Europa League final by then, uh, and then you know, once we get those qualifying rounds going, the week, maybe we can go back and... Uh, <laughs> And doing the cut specials again, especially. Not sure, pa yung kay Frank Fagerly. I'm not sure kung na naka na meet niya na dati si Ole, so that could be a potential United connection there because Fagerly <laughs> plays for all. Fagerly plays for all his old club in Molde. Molde, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so okay. probably six, 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 this guy six, na. Six, 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 so makikita pa natin confirm. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Julio, Carl, uh, Kevin, and Kent for. Uh, your insights and insights. Thank you, guys. Uh, Thank you. Very fresh uh, about the as well. So, uh, again, next episode back to regular pro- uh, programming. We'll discuss United in the Europa League final. And also, we get those uh, qualifying rounds rolling. Get the bunch uh, more of these as specials. All right. So, this has been Jeff. Thank you again for joining us in Pinoy Show for the Enders. Till next time. Where's that? All right. Gabon, Pilipinas. You beat us on the